he became like us. He sat down with the prostitutes. Jesus, he ate, he ate with prostitutes. Prostitute touching, lepers touching. He was available for everybody. And because he was available for everybody, they accused him. So people are still accusing Jesus. Where? Well, it doesn't change anything. Jesus loves you so much, he became man for you. Jesus loves us so much, he left heaven. He was not worried about his position. He was God. He decided to become like one of us just to save us. All of you here, if today, if today, even the, 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 the child of uh, the, the King Charles, let's say Williams, says he's coming to your house to come and eat with you, you let the whole neighborhood know that Prince Harry or Prince Charles is coming to your home. Today. Today. If a politician says I'm coming to your home, you let everybody know. You take pictures that this politician came to my home. God became human being and came to the earth and your mind can understand. He came to save you. 2,000 years is past and you are still religious. You still don't know. The reason why you are struggling with alcohol is because you don't know Jesus. Behind alcohol, behind drunkenness, there is a filthy spirit. It's a devil. It's a demon. I won't bend my tongue. Behind that behavior of girls saying, ask for me, I'm attracted to a girl, it's a demon. It's a filthy demon. Those children are filled of demons. Evil spirit is dancing in their ways. It's dancing inside of them. We are not condemning you. Get up. Jesus said, turn them from the power of Satan unto God. From darkness unto light. Amen. We are flashing the light. Young girl, you are dirty. Come out. We will give you. Now, we are holding righteous clothes. Woo! When you come to God, he will change your filthy clothes. He will change it. He will take, he will remove that bad appetite. Only God can do. If you don't come to Jesus, they will continue to call it pride. They'll say, oh, come and demonstrate. You are proud, you are doing. No, no, no. Pride turn an angel into a, a devil. Pride will tell you. A good girl, it will make you yoko, yoko, yoko. A good girl. Pride, that pride they are bringing, is turning all of you into some words. Words. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, we are not teasing you. We are saying the truth they didn't tell you. BBC will record what we are telling you. BBC, they will never record the good things we are telling you. But let us be dancing over here and wiggly, wiggly our waist. Wiggly, wiggly our waist. They will come and cover it. Turn from Satan unto God. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you are property of Satan. And if you live for the devil, the devil is destroying you. Don't say, where is God? There are people, you are living for the devil, the devil is destroying you, and you accuse God. Where is God? When is, if God is there, why? God is there. You chose to serve the devil. And the devil is harming you. Why are you calling God? But I tell you the truth. Jesus said, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, Madam, whosoever, you are whosoever. They didn't present Christ to you properly. That's why you were Christian. There are many of you who were Christian in the church, but you don't pass by the church because they present that religion to you. They present the church of England. They present the church of England. They present the Catholic to you. If I ask you, are you a Christian? You told me you were Catholic. There in heaven, there is no Catholic. You can wear the cross, but it doesn't mean you are going to heaven. In heaven, there is no Catholic. In heaven, there is no Church of England. There is no England. There is no Methodist. In heaven, there is no race. In heaven, there are only one group of people. Born again, spirit filled by the blood of Jesus. There is only one race. And we come from every nation, every tongue. 
because the God who created us, He created all languages and He understands all languages. And in heaven, there is no racial division over there. There is no racism in heaven. Racism comes from human beings. There is no racism in heaven. Bless you. Bless you, brother. The Lord bless you. Bless you. Bless you. There are many believers in Baki. I love this. In heaven, there are only one group of people born again, spirit filled. When you are born again by the blood of Jesus, the blood that Jesus died and shed on Calvary is what saves us from sin. And after God has saved you through the blood of Jesus, He gives you a deposit of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not angel Gabriel. Confusion. Come on, your religion is confused because the writers, the prophets, whoever wrote your scripture, they are confused. They don't know God, they don't know the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is not angel Gabriel. And when we talk about, when Christians talk about Trinity, we are not talking about Mary and, and God and Jesus as three gods. That's not what Christians talk about. You are confused. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, He will wash you with the blood. Without the blood of Jesus, nobody will be saved. Amen. If you are not born again, you can be a Catholic. You can be, you can be a, from Church of England. You can be a Protestant. You can be anything. You will not go to heaven. And nobody goes to heaven because you did some good things. By the way, those of you who are coming now, I want you to know that everybody will live forever. All of you. <laughs> everybody will live forever. If you commit suicide, you have made your case worse. Everybody will live forever. If you walk out of your body and doctor said you are dead, you are not dead. It's your body you have vacated. You will be wide awake. You will be wide awake. And if Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, we will say it loud. Those of you who are following your other religion and call Jesus a prophet, if Jesus, the Son of God, God who became flesh, if he is not your Savior, if Jesus, you have not confessed Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you would die twice. If you are born once, you will die twice. Every one of you. All of you go into the past. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you will live once, but you will die twice. The second death is everlasting. There is no end. But if Jesus, if you are born twice, you are born by your parents, and you are born through the blood of Jesus, that's what we call born again, faith in Jesus. If you are born twice, you may die once, or you may never die. Choose which one. You are going to live forever. You are going to live forever. I will finish my preaching with this. Every one of you will live forever. You will live twice. You will live twice. And if Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you will spend eternity with Satan. You are living for Satan. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you are living for Satan. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you can be notoriously religion bowing down your head to a God who does not exist. Wait a minute. I've seen some people have a mark on their forehead because they have hit their forehead on the ground so much. Now, that's a mark of the devil. We Christians, we have an unseen mark. We have unseen mark. The Holy Spirit has markers. We don't, you don't see. So if you see our forehead, you don't see any mark. But we are children of God. I see some of you. You are the mark of the devil. You have hit your ground, your face on, to that devil all the time. There is a mark on your head. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, you will live twice. After you have walked out of your body, the devil whom you live for, you will go to him. He will torture you. The devil is looking for some of you. He's waiting patiently for you to die. But if you listen to us this evening, this evening, if you listen to this preaching, you will be saved. Jesus, his salvation. When Simon had that baby, he said, my eyes have seen 
the salvation of God. Oh, yeah. Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is salvation in human body. Amen. When Jesus walked among us, it was salvation walking around. Woo. Salvation walk on the streets of human race. Salvation. Salvation. God's salvation became man. That's why when people touch him, when people who are ill touch Jesus, they receive healing instantly. Because Jesus was salvation working among men. We love you. But we have to. We hate to say this. Please don't be arrogant. Don't be ignorant. Don't stubbornly die in your sins. Because we are all heading towards hell. If Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, people in back, whoever you are, if Jesus is not your Lord and personal Savior, I'm sorry to say you are the devil's property. And Jesus said, go with the gospel, turn them from Satan unto God. This evening, our only purpose is for you to turn from Satan unto God. From darkness to light. Jesus is the light that lights everyone that comes into the world. He was in the world. The word was made by him. And the word knew him not. Do you know him? And if you know him, you know him as what? The word of God says, Demons, evil spirit, know him. And they confess him as the son of God. Evil spirit. And they tremble. But they are not saved. I don't want to go there. But Holy Spirit keep on taking me there. Satan. Do you know Satan knows Jesus is the son of God? Satan. The devil. You call him Satan. 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 Satan knows Jesus is the son of God. Satan. Satan went to Jesus. You call him Satan. That's what your, your scripture call him. Satan. You are making a fool of yourself because Satan, Satan went to Jesus. He said, since you are the son of God, when Jesus was fasting 40 days and 40 nights, Satan went to Jesus. They didn't tell you. <laughs> Satan went to Jesus. He said, since you are the son of God, turn these stones to bread. Why didn't they write that in your scripture? Satan. So Satan knows better than your writings. <laughs> Okay, Jesus said, I don't testify by myself. I will let people testify for me. So, apart from Satan, we have one witness. We have one witness, Satan himself. Then we have evil spirits. Three times, evil spirit. Rikitana, demona. Rikita, rikita. Demon, demona, demons. Three times, they said, Jesus, what have we got to do with you, son of God? Have you come to destroy us? This is three times evil spirit said. But I understand it. They said, we have nothing to do with you because we are demons. But you are human. <laughs> evil spirit said, we know who you are, but we have nothing to do with you. And we know we will be destroyed, but for now, don't destroy us. So that is the witness of evil spirit. Your man talking to you. Satan. Now, evil spirits say Jesus is the Son of God. You might be stupid to say Jesus is not the Son of God. You might be walking, walking, walking. So, Satan said Jesus is the Son of God. Evil spirits say Jesus is the Son of God. Now, let's look at the angels of God. The angels of God in heaven bow down. You said, did Jesus say you should worship me? Jesus doesn't need your, your knee. What is your knees? Your knees is clear and full. Jesus made it. We are talking about angels. Angels in heaven, they bow down like this. And they said, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power forever and ever. For you have created all things. And for your pleasure, they were created. You died and rose again. This is the confession of angels. Then you can't say me. Come on, go and see it. And then you come along and say, Jesus didn't die. Now, which branch are you from? Which planet? 
Which planet? Somebody wake up. Listen, you should be privileged you are embarking listening to these preachers. <laughs> we are telling you the truth. Your religion didn't tell you. Now, as if that is not enough, God himself, he said, oh, if, if Jesus is God, why can one God be heaven and one God on the earth? Come on, child, this, if it, my Sunday school children will ask me this question, Sunday school children. Three times, God said, this, who does? This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Who are you hearing? Who are you hearing? The devil, he will destroy you. You are talking truth. The devil will destroy you. This is my beloved son. So Jesus doesn't have to tell us who he is. But if you care, Jesus told us who he is. Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. Now, who is I am? When Moses first had an encounter with the Lord, before Jesus became man. And Moses said, if I go to my people and they ask me, when God appeared to you, what should I say? And he said, tell them, I am. I am. That same word Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. I am. So if you get to know who Jesus is, Jesus said, he didn't even say I am God, he said I am. So if you want to know who I am, is go to Exodus chapter 3. Woo! Go to Exodus. As if that is not enough, when Jesus was here, he referred him as the son of man. The son of man. He always referred to himself. Why? Because God gave us a distinct person. In the book of Daniel, God before Jesus was born, when the prophet Daniel saw him, he said, I saw somebody riding on the clouds. Holy God, Daniel was riding. Your prophet is a patriarch. Oh, am I? Oh, something is happening to this young man. Something, something very bad is happening to him. <laughs> Daniel said, and I saw someone coming on the clouds riding on the clouds and came to the ancient of days and dominion was given to him and his death, he was like this son of man and he was giving command that all nations people of all nations including you and me people of all tribes and all sons you bow down to him. When Jesus came and they were confused about him, he said, I am the son of man. That prophet that you talk about. Do you care to know who Jesus is? Jesus said, before Abraham, Abraham, who you claim to be your father? If Abraham saw my days and he rejoiced. Come on, somebody, I didn't come here to do eschatology. I didn't come here to do Bible exposition. Jesus said, Abraham saw my days and he was glad. They said, you are 30 years. Abraham died over 30 years ago. When did Abraham see? Abraham saw the Lord. You remember when the Lord was going to destroy Sodom? Abraham said there were three visitors I got. I had with them. One of them. <laughs> oh, we love you. I know you've been listening to me. You've been standing inside the church and listening to me. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, don't hide. Come here. My brother will come and say prayer with anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus. Only Jesus. No other prophet. Only Jesus. Now, today you have the chance to be a child of God. Today you have the chance for your name to be written in the book of life. The choice is yours. I'll call my brother. He will come and pray with anybody. Anybody. Anybody who wants to give their life to Jesus. Say, have you given your life to Jesus? No. Why not? What are you waiting for? It's a choice. What are you waiting for? Pardon?
de New York. The Lord says that wisdom is crying out in the streets. Yes. Wisdom is crying out in the streets. Yes. And those that hear my voice and turn at, your, at my reproof, I will pour out my spirit. Turn at my reproof and I will pour out my spirit. Do not harden your heart against this word. Lord, your word has been delivered today. May your word have a free course. May your spirit be poured out and may you have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. May you draw, may you draw the people to you. May you have mercy upon those who have been blinded. Lord, may you have mercy upon those who have been deceived. Lord, may you have mercy upon those who have been abused. Lord, may you have mercy upon those that have been traumatized. Lord, have mercy on those that are confused today. And God, may you grant them the revelation, the understanding to be able to draw near to you today. May you grant us, Lord, faith today. Lord, may you grant faith to these hearers. Lord, do not let them depart in ignorance. Do not let them continue in darkness. But Lord, may you bring light into the eyes of the people in Barking. May you lighten the darkness that hovers over Barking. May you break every spell, every witchcraft, every powers that continues to hold people in captivity. Lord, we proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of deliverance that belongs to you. Lord, may you deliver the prisoners today. May you deliver those, Lord, who have been blinded by the devil. And Lord, may you rescue them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And may you bind every mocking spirit. Because, Lord, everyone will give an account to you. Lord, may you forgive. You said that there is forgiveness for those that mock your name. But, Lord, do not let us blaspheme your spirit. Give us grace and mercy to be able to repent today. Lead us in repentance. Lead us into repentance and help us to pray. Lord Jesus, we've all sinned against you and we just want to come before you and ask for your forgiveness. We want to ask for the blood of Jesus to wash away our sins. We want to ask, Lord God, that your, your blood will wash away our sins and give us a clear conscience that we might be able to walk forward in newness of life today and that we can receive the gift of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we turn from every way that does not please you, every way that proves your spirit, every way that, Lord, is frustrated and has transgressed your laws. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us to draw near to you today so that we can walk in newness of life, so that you can lead and guide us. May we confess you as our Lord and Saviour. And Lord, may you be gracious to deliver us from all of our troubles and show us that you are a true and living God. We cast off every idols, Lord. We lay our lives down to you today. May you show us, may you grant us the gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Bless you.